Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how to perform the specific gravity test. This test will tell you what metal your coin, round or bar is made of. It is easy to do and only requires a few items. If you like this type of content, clicking the like button and subscribing to the channel will help YouTube inform you when a new video is available for you. For more methods to test silver, gold and other precious metals, see my other video titled Fake Bars from China – Tools to help you avoid buying them. This is a very simple test to do. The only difficult part is making sure that the coin will stay on the string that you use. Here is a list of the items that you will need. First, a digital scale precise to at least one hundredth of a gram. Second, a cup or a glass of water deep enough and large enough to submerge the coin without it touching either the sides or the bottom. Three, a piece of string. I suggest using something wide if you can. Four, a sheet of paper and pen to write down the numbers. Five, the list of specific gravity values. These are in the description box below. And six, the coins and bars that you want to test. That's it. As I said, it's simple. Step number one, weighting the string. The first thing you'll need to know is how much the string will influence the reading when weighting the coin in the water. Make sure the scale is set to grams. And also make sure that the scale is zeroed once the cup of water is on it. Just drop the string in the water as if the coin was on it, just deep enough to submerge the coin entirely. Write down this value on a sheet of paper. We will be using this for every coin we test. Step number two, dry weighting of the coins and bars. We will now weight all of the coins and the bars we want to test. If they are all of the same type and design, make sure to place them in a way that you will know in which order they were weighted. So the first step is to remove the cup of water from the scale, making sure that the reading is in grams and is zeroed. Now, just weight each piece and write down the weight on the sheet of paper. If any of the coins or bar are outside of the norm in terms of weight, you probably have a fake on your hands. Bullions, rounds and bars usually weight in between 31.1 to 31.4 grams per troy ounces. So, a 1 ounce bar would be 31.1 to 31.4 grams and let's say a 10 ounce bar would be in between 311 and 314 grams. If it's heavier, either you're very lucky or you have a possible fake on your hand. If it's lighter, you either have a worn piece or it's usually a fake. The test will tell you which it is. If the weight is within the norm, it doesn't prove that the piece is real, but it's a good sign. All right, so let's start with the first coin. This is a silver dollar from Canada and it's 50% silver. These are proofs and they are commemorative coins. So now we have a value of 23.07 gram. I'm going to write this down. There we go, the balance resets itself. The second coin is a silver dollar from Canada in 1967. This is 80% silver. So 23.36 gram. I'm going to note that as well, besides the description of the coin on the sheet of paper. Okay, so now for the third coin. This is American Constitutional Silver, so that's 90% silver, and this is a quarter. So it's 12.46 grams. Again, I'm gonna write it down on the sheet of paper. So the fourth coin is a Canadian Maple Leaf. So that's 999 silver. I'm going to write down the 31.32 grams on the sheet of paper. Now we're going to switch to gold. So this is a quarter ounce of gold. Uh, this is uh, actually uh, 14 carat in this case. So that's 13.27 grams. Again, I'm going to write it down on the sheet of paper. 
I always write the type of coin and then the number besides it. Okay, so for the final coin, we have a one ounce maple leaf. This is pure gold, so that's uh, four nines gold. So I'm gonna write down 31.17 grams. And now we can go to the next step. Step number three, wet weighting of the coins and bars. Now it's time to place the cup of water back on the scale. Make sure you are still in grams and that you have zeroed the reading. If you have not weighted the string in step number one for any reason, now is the time to do it. You will want to put a sliding knot on the string so that you can attach and remove coins and bars to the string easily. Here is how to do it. Now, attach the first coin and submerge it just deep enough so that all of the coin is underwater. Once you've done that, write down the value on the sheet of paper next to the value of the coin when it was dry weighted. Now remove the coin from the string and place it on the table in the order it was weighted. So you simply repeat all of the steps for each coin, making sure that you zero the scale every time. The reason the reading is not at zero after the test is that you are removing a few drops of water from the cup and these scales are incredibly precise. All right, so let's proceed with the $1 silver Canadian coin, which is 80%. Again, we're gonna write that down on the sheet of paper. So the next coin will be the American quarter. So that's 90%. 90% silver, of course. Then we'll do the uh, silver maple leaf. So we're going to write that down as well. As you can see, the reading keeps changing. So you have to take an, an approximate value. It doesn't have to be super precise. Uh, as long as you're within a few percent, it's, uh, it's going to be uh, good enough. It's going to reset and do the gold coin. So that's the 14 carat one. And we'll write that down. And we'll proceed with the last one. So this is the, uh, the pure gold coin, the maple leaf. And we'll write that down and we're done with the wet readings. Once all of the coins have been weighted, you can proceed to the next step. Step number four, calculating the weight in water without the string. Time to deduct the weight of the string from the weight of each of the coins. Just take the reading you took for each piece in the water and remove the weight of the string. Write down the value next to each of the readings on the sheet. Step number five, calculating the specific gravity. Here we are, the final step. So to do this, all you have to do is take the dry weight of each piece and divide it by the net wet weight. The value you get is the specific gravity. It should match the metal type closely. There is a small margin of error, but it should be very close. If the numbers are way off, 
you are dealing with a different type of metal. So as you can see, I'm doing it with a spreadsheet, but you could take a calculator and do the same thing on a sheet of paper. Very easy to do. If you're within about 10% of the uh, actual density that the metal should have, uh, it should be good enough. Uh, the thing is, it's not very precise because depending how deep you dip the coin, uh, it will affect the value a little bit. So if it goes, uh, because of the string basically, so the extra string is creating extra weight in the water, so it, it uh, changes the number. It's almost impossible to get it precisely on that aspect. So what we're looking for basically is uh, just something very close. If you're, say, 50% off, you can be certain it's going to be a completely different metal then. But within, I'd say, 10%, with a margin of error, you should be fine. I hope this information was useful to you. If you liked it, remember to hit the like button and subscribe for future videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.